the best of all those whom you have selected, the most favorite of all those whom you pointed out, and the noblest of all those on whom you decided. So you preferred him to your prophets, sent him to the two dependents, men and jinn, from your servants, enabled him to tread on the east and the west of your lands, made subservient to him the Burak, the celestial sumpter, raised him to your heavens and entrusted with him the knowledge of whatever passed and whatever shall come to pass, up to the extension of your creatures. You then granted him victory by means of awe and majesty, ordered Jebrail and Mike and Michael, as well as the marked angels to surround him, and promised him to make his faith prevail all other faiths, however much the polytheist may be averse. You did all that after you had settled him in an honest position among his people, made for him and them the first house ever located for the people, that is the house in Bakka, blessed and guidance for the worlds. In it there are clear-cut proofs. It is the standing place of Ibrahim, and whoever enters it will be secured. You also said, Allah only desires to keep away the uncleanliness from you, O people of the house, and to purify you a thorough purifying. This is about ayat e tathir you then decided the reward of Muhammad, your blessings be upon him and his household, to be the love for them as in your book. You said, Say, I do not ask of you any reward for but the love of my near relatives. Matlab ye Quran me jase zikar hai Rasulullah ke ko wo kehte hain ke ye nubuat ka risalat ka ajar kush nahi hai sawai iske ke you also said, whatever reward I have asked of you, that is only for yourselves. You also said, I do not ask you aught in return, except that he who wills may take the way to his Lord. They, that is the Prophet's household, have therefore been the way to you and the course to your pleasure. When his, that is the Prophet, days passed, he appointed a successor, his vicegerent Ali, the son of Abu Talib. Your blessings be upon both of them and their household, because he, the prophet, was the warner, and Ali was the guide for every people. So he, the prophet, said in the presence of the people, as for each one of who has taken me as his master, Ali is now his master. O Allah, guard, guard anyone who is loyal to Ali, be the enemy of anyone who antagonizes him. Support anyone who supports him and disappoint anyone who dis disappoints him. He also said, as for anyone who has considered me as his prophet, Ali is now his commander. He also said, Ali and I are of the same tree while all the other people are from various trees. He endorsed him, that is, Ali will the position that Prophet Harun had with the regard to Prophet Musa, saying, Your position to me is the same as Harun's position to Musa in everything, except that there shall be no prophet after me. He gave him in marriage his daughter, the women of the worlds. He allowed him alone to do whatever he himself is allowed to do in the mosque. He closed all the doors to the mosque, except his, that is the door of Ali. He then entrusted with him his knowledge and his wisdom, saying, I am the city of knowledge, and Ali is its door. So wh whoever wants the city and wisdom must come in through the door of Ali. He then said to Ali, You are my brother, successor, and inheritor. You, your flesh is part of my flesh, your blood is part of my blood, your peace is my peace, your war is my war, and faith is mixed with your flesh and 
blood as came as same as it is mixed with my flesh and blood on the morrow we shall be wisdom on the divine pond you also settle my debts and fulfill my commitments your sharia that is adherence shall be on pulpits of the light white faced around me in paradise they are my neighbors we were it not for you ali true believers will not be recognized after me hence he ali after the prophet was true guidance against straying of light against blindness the firmest rope of allah and his straight path none will precede him in blood relation with the prophet or any priority in a religious affair and none will ever match him in any item of virtue he patterned after the messenger may allah's blessing be upon both of them and their household he fought for the sake of true interpretation of the quran the blame of any blamer will never stop him from doing anything for the sake of allah he thus exterminated the villains of the arabs killed their heroes and eradicated their ferocious fighters he therefore filled in their hearts with malice from the battles of badr khaybar and hunain as well as others therefore they clung inseparably to opposing him and attached upon descending him until he had to kill the preachers the unjust and the apostates when he passed away and he was killed by the most miserable of all of the late generations who will be attached to the most miserable of the past generation the decree of allah's messenger may allah bless him and his household about the leadership of the successive guiding ones was not carried out rather the people insisted on detesting him detesting him and agreed unanimously on rupturing their relations with him and moving away his descendants from leadership except for a few ones who fulfilled the duty of observing their rights many of ali's descendants were therefore slain many others were taken as captives and many others were banished decrees were thus applied to them of in a form expected to grant them excellent reward for that verily the earth is allah's he gives it in inheritance to whomever of his servants that he wishes and the end result shall be for the pious all glory be to our lord most certainly the promise of our lord shall come to pass allah shall never fail to fulfill his promise he is the almighty the all wise for the immaculate ones from the household of muhammad and ali may allah bless both of them and their house allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ali muhammad
Assalat, 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 Eid al Fitr. Allahu Akbar. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Maliki Yomidin. Ia kena budu, ia kena sain. Ehdina suratul mustaqim. Suratul lazina namta alayhim. غير المعذوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والشمس وزحاها والقمر إذا تلاها والنهار إذا جلاها والليل إذا يغشاها والسماء وما بناها والأرض وما تحاها ونفس وما سواها فالحمها فجورها وتقواها قد أفلها من زكاها وقد خاب من دساها كذبت سمود بتقواها إذا بعث أشقاها قال لهم رسول الله ناقة الله وصغياها فكذبوه فقلوها فدمدم عليهم ربهم بذنبهم فسواها ولا يخاف أقباها الله أكبر اللهم أهل الكبرياء والعظمة وأهل الجود والجبروت وأهل العفو والرحمة وأهل التقوى والمغفرة أسألك بحق هذا اليوم الذي جعلته للمسلم عيدا ولمحمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم ذكرا وشرفا وكرامة ومزيدا أن تصل على محمد وآل محمد وأن تدخلني في كل خير أدخلت في محمد وآل محمد وأن تخرجني من كل سوء أخرجت منه محمد وآل محمد صلواتك عليه وعليهم أجمعين اللهم إني أسألك خير ما سألك بإبادك الصالحون وأعوذ بك مما أستاذ منه إبادك المخلصون الله أكبر اللهم أهل الكبرياء والعظمة وأهل الجود والجبروت وأهل العفو والرحمة وأهل التقوى والمغفرة أسألك بحق حاجة اليوم الذي جعلته للمسلمين عيدا ولمحمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم ذكرا وشرفا وكرامة ومزيدا أن تصل على محمد وآل محمد وأن تدخلني في كل خير أدخلت في محمد وآل محمد وأن تخرجني من كل سوء أخرجت منه محمد وآل محمد صلواتك عليه وعليهم أجمعين اللهم إني أسألك خير ما سألك بإبادك الصالحون وأعوذ بك مما أستعاذ منه إبادك المخلصون الله أكبر اللهم أهل الكبرياء والعظمة وأهل الجود والجبروت وأهل الأفوى والرحمة وأهل التقوى والمغفرة أسألك بحق هذا اليوم الذي جعلته للمسلم عيدا ولمحمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم ذكرا وشرفا وكرامة ومزيدا أن تصل على محمد وآل محمد وأن تدخلني في كل قيد أدخلت في محمد وآل محمد وأن تخرجني من كل سوء أخرجت منه محمد وآل محمد صلواتك عليه وعليهم أجمعين اللهم إني أسألك خير ما سألك به بعدك الصالحون وأعوذ بك مما استعاذ منه بعدك المخلصون الله أكبر اللهم أهل الكبرياء والعظمة وأهل الجود والجبروت وأهل الأفوى والرحمة وأهل التقوى والمغفرة أسألك بحق هذا اليوم الذي جعلته للمسلمين عيدا ولمحمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم ذكرا وشرفا وكرامة ومزيدا أن تصل على محمد وآل محمد وأن تدخلني في كل خير أدخلت في محمد وآل محمد وأن تخرجني من كل سوء أخرجت منه محمد وآل محمد صلواتك عليه وآله مجمعين اللهم إني أسألك خير ما سألك إبادك الصالحون وأعوذ بك مما أستعاذ منه إبادك المخلصون الله أكبر اللهم أهل الكبرياء والعظمة وأهل الجود والجبروت وأهل الأفوى والرحمة 
وأخذ التقوى والمغفرة أسألك بحق هذا اليوم الذي جعلته للمسلم عيدا ولمحمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم زكرا وشرفا وكرامة ومزيدا أن تسل على محمد وآل محمد وأن تدخلني في كل خير أدخلت في محمد وآل محمد وأن تخرجني من كل سوء أخرجت منه محمد وآل محمد صلواتك عليه وآله مجمعين اللهم إني أسألك خير ما سألك بعبادك الصالحون وأعوذ بك مما استغاذ منه بعبادك المخلصون الله أكبر الله أكبر سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان ربي العالى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر أستغفر الله ربي وأتوب إليه الله أكبر سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان ربي العالى وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد الله أكبر بحول الله وبحمده بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نصعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نمت عليهم غير المعذوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد اللهم أحل الكبراء والعظمة وأحل الجود والجبروت وأحل الأفوى والرحمة وأحل التقوى والمغفرة أسألك بحق هذا اليوم الذي جعلته للمسلمين إذا ولمحمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم زكرا وشرفا وكرامة ومزيدا أن تسل على محمد وآل محمد وأن تدخلني في كل قير أدخلت في محمد وآل محمد وأن تخرجني من كل سوء أخرجت منه محمد وآل محمد صلواتك عليه وآله مجمعين اللهم إني أسألك خير ما سألك بعبادك الصالحون وأعوذ بك مما استغاذ منه بعبادك المخلصون الله أكبر اللهم أحل الكبرياء والعظمة وأحل الجود والجبروت وأحل الأفوى والرحمة وأحل التقوى والمغفرة أسألك بحق هذا اليوم الذي جعلته للمسلمين عيدا ولمحمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم زكرا وشرفا وكرامة ومزيدا أن تسل على محمد وآل محمد وأن تدخلني في كل خير أدخلت في محمد وآل محمد وأن تخرجني من كل سوء أخرجت منه محمد وآل محمد صلواتك عليه وآله مجمعين اللهم إني أسألك خير ما سألك بعبادك الصالحون وأعوذ بك مما استغاذ منه بعبادك المخلصون الله أكبر اللهم أحل الكبرياء والعظمة وأحل الجود والجبروت وأحل الأفوى والرحمة وأحل التقوى والمغفرة أسألك بحق هذا اليوم الذي جعلته للمسلمين عيدا ولمحمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم زقرا وشرفا وكرامة ومزيدا أن تسل على محمد وآل محمد وأن تدخلني في كل خير أدخلت في محمد وآل محمد وأن تخرجني من كل سوء أخرجت منه محمد وآل محمد صلواتك عليه وآله مجمعين اللهم إني أسألك خير ما سألك بعبادك الصالحون وأعوذ بك مما استغاذ منه بعبادك المخلصون الله أكبر اللهم أحل الكبرياء والعظمة وأحل الجود والجبروت وأحل الأفوى والرحمة وأحل التقوى والمغفرة أسألك بحق هذا اليوم الذي جعلته للمسلمين عيدا ولمحمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم زخرا وشرفا وكرامة ومزيدا أن تسل على محمد وآل محمد وأن تدخلني في كل قير أدخلت في محمد وآل محمد وأن تخرجني من كل سوء أخرجت منه محمد وآل محمد صلواتك عليه وآله مجمعين اللهم إني أسألك خير ما سألك عبادك الصالحون وأعوذ بما استغاذ منه عبادك المخلصون الله أكبر الله أكبر سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان ربي العظيم وبحمده اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد
Subhanallahu liman hamida Allahu akbar Subhanallah 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 subhan rabbi al ala wa bi hamdi Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad Allahu akbar Astaghfirullah rabbi wa atubu ilayh Allahu akbar Subhanallah 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 subhan rabbi al ala wa bi hamdi ya wali wa la tawakkala wa ta'ala wa ta'ala wa ta'ala wa ta'ala wa ta'ala Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad Allahu akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi salihin Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Allahu akbar بعد بلند سلوات بیجے الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي لا يبلغ متته القائلون ولا يسينا ما هو العدون ولا يودي حقه المجتهدون الذي لا يدركه بهد الهمم ولا يناله غوص الفتن الذي ليس لصفته حد محدود ولا نات موجود ولا وقت محدود ولا عجل ممدود فترى الخلائق بقدرته ونشر رياح برحمته ووتد بالصخر ما يدان عرف ثم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وحبيبنا وحبيب رب العالمين بالقاسم محمد وعلى أهل بيت الطيبين الطاهرين واللعن على أدائهم أجمعين من أول يوم ظلمهم إلى قيام يوم الدين أما بعد فقال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتاب مبين وقوله الحق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن المتقين في جنات وعيون صدق الله العلي العظيم before we begin, Eid Mubarak to everyone. Absolutely. And inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of you a long life, a fulfilling life, a life that is walking on the path of Muhammad wa Muhammad. And you have to remember that this day of Eid, some people are celebrating it because they stop fasting. Some people are celebrating it because they don't have to be hungry from sunrise to sunset. But in reality, this isn't the philosophy behind Eid. If you look at, for example, Amir al-Mu'mineen and you look at Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. When the day of Eid al-Fitr came, what does Amir al-Mu'mineen say? You can see this sermon of Amir al-Mu'mineen in the Nasi Balagh where it says, Oh people, verily this day of yours is a day when the righteous are awarded and the wretched are losers. He goes on to, it is a day which is similar to the one it is a day which is similar to the one on which you shall be standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm going over this sermon. Why? Because there's a comparison Amir al-Mu'mineen is making. When you leave your houses, what is that supposed to symbolize? When you're all gathered here, what is that supposed to symbolize? When you're all standing up for the prayers, what is that supposed to symbolize? Because all of this, all of these actions, they symbolize something. When you understand what they symbolize and then you come to pray and then you do sajda to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's where the lutuf is that's where all of this is he goes on to say that therefore when you come out of your homes to go to places of prayers remind yourselves about the day when your soul shall come out of the bodies when you come out of the homes remind yourself that there's going to come a day when my soul will come out of this home which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given it. Remind yourself of that. And then he goes on to say what? He goes on to say that when you stand on the place of your prayers, remind yourself of your standing in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you see how 
all of these actions we have, Amir al-Mu'mineen says that they have a symbol, they have a meaning behind them. When we do these acts, actions, knowing what that meaning is, that's when we get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not just doing the acts and doing the actions. No, that does not bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Knowing the meaning behind all of that. The meaning behind the fasting. All of us, inshallah, we fasted the 29 days, 30 days of Ramadan. But if we didn't understand the meaning behind that fast, there was no point. There was no point. What is the meaning behind that fasting? The meaning behind that fasting was what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. That he's prescribed fasting to you. Why? So that you can have taqwa. So that you can have taqwa. If after those 29, 30 days of fasting, there is no increase in your taqwa, then these 29, 30 days of fasting became useless. There needs to come a change within an individual. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? He does not change a people until... They want to change themselves. When you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you change, then you have to take that first step in changing. That first step in changing. And that first step in changing is this day. This day of Eid. Why? There are some narrations that state that the day of Eid al-Fitr is the beginning of a new year. It's the beginning of a new year. Why? Those 30 days of Ramadan, 29, 30 days of Ramadan, we were all supposed to obey the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That nahi and munkar that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had told us about, we were all supposed to obey that. The new year starting with the Eid, why? Because that is supposed to be carried over. That is supposed to be carried over. Whatever good deeds... If there was one good deed that we started in the month of Ramadan, then it becomes our duty to carry that over to the new year, to the next year. And continue that. And if you look at the life of ulama, this is exactly what they did. They would prepare the whole year for the month of Ramadan. When the month of Ramadan would end, they wouldn't be happy because Ramadan is ending. No, they'd be sad. Why? Because they knew the value of the month of Ramadan. They knew the value. What was the value? For example, every breath that you were taking in the month of Ramadan, that was tasbih of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every breath. As soon as we saw the moon of Shawal, that ceased to become tasbih of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As soon as we saw the moon of Shawal. The sleeping that we were doing in the month of Ramadan, that was considered to be ibadat. As soon as the moon was seen, that ceased to be about it. Tell me, when you know that the month of Ramadan has this amount of blessings, when it goes, would you be happy? No. If you truly had marifat of the blessings of the month of Ramadan, you wouldn't be happy. You would cry the same way the Aima Alayhim Sam cried. You'd cry the same way some of these scholars cry. Because they understand the true meaning behind that fast. They understand the true meaning behind the month of Ramadan. In this month of Ramadan, when we were fasting, we had to make sure that we give all of our body parts their due right. We had to make sure that we give all of our body parts their due right. The hands their due right. The eyes their due right. Some of us, we were able to. Some of us, we weren't. We still needed to work on. The tongue, some of us, we were able to. Some of us, no, we still need to work on. But at the very least, what would happen? If you get angry, if you got angry, you would control your tongue. Why? Because you would think to yourself, wait, this is the month of Ramadan. This is the month of Ramadan. I shouldn't go, I shouldn't step overboard. If someone was to get angry. Outside of the month of Ramadan, who cares? Right? But now that you've controlled yourself for these amount of days, that control needs to move forward. You need to progress, not regress. And that's exactly what all of the Aima alayhim salam tell us to do. Tell us to do. There are narrations from the Imams which state that any day 
We say that this is Eid, Eid, Eid. A day of happiness, correct? The Imams, they say any day where you have not committed a sin is a day of Eid. Any day where you have not committed a sin is a day of Eid. Others, Friday, considered to be a day of Eid. But all of these amal, these fasting, the fasting that we did, and I need to speak about this also, the narration state that this fasting that we did in the month of Ramadan will not be accepted, they're all suspended up in the air until you give zakat al-fitra. Until you give zakat al-fitra. And for everyone that was here for the namaz, it was supposed to be taken out before namaz. And as you're all aware, in the time of the Ghaybat al Zaman al-Islam, right now this Eid namaz is mustahab, it's not wajib. When the Imam comes, this will be wajib. This will be wajib. But zakat al-fitra was supposed to be given before the namaz. If you d didn't want to come for jamaat and you want to pray alone, you have, you have that right to pray alone at home, and you could have taken it out right before you prayed. But look at how important Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it. The fasting was for us. The fasting was for the individual. The zakat is for the community. The fasting is for us, the zakat is for the community. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he has ordained these types of orders, it's not just something specific to an individual. No, he looks at the individual and he looks at the community also. He looks at the community also. And this is what everyone needs to focus on. Don't just focus on yourself. Don't just focus on your own needs. Focus on the needs of the community as well. Focus on the needs of the community as well. And that's what we forget. This is exactly what Zak Zakat al-Fitra, for example, it's so important. If you pick up the Maharaj al what does it say when it comes to regarding Zakat al-Fitra? They say, look, if someone is so poor that they have a number of dependents and they can't give Zakat al-Fitra for all of them. For example, they have five, six dependents and they can't give Zakat al-Fitra for all of them. What should they do? The head of the house, he should take that Zakat al-Fitra himself and then give it to someone else in the house. That person will take that zakat al-fitr because now that zakat al-fitr has become the milkit of that second person. Now that second person will take zakat al-fitr from that same money, they'll give that zakat to the third person. That third person, now that it's in their hand, they'll give it to the fourth person. The fourth person will give it to the fifth person. The fifth person will then have to give it to wherever it needs to go. Look at how important this zakat is. Look at how important helping the others in the community that are in need of help is. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, no, even if you're not able to do it, if you can't give it for everyone, then this is the system that is there for you. This is the system that is there for you. You give it to the next person, the next person gives it a third, the third, and it comes all the way back. Sallallahu alayhi wa Muhammad wa Muhammad. <clears throat> this day of Eid is a day of unity. It's a day when we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the opportunity to fast in the month of Ramadan. For giving us the opportunity to do the good deeds that we did in the month of Ramadan. For giving us the opportunity to refrain from those sins which He had told us to refrain from in the month of Ramadan. You have you have to remember that there, there isn't a day when you don't thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There shouldn't be a day when you don't thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because He does everything for you every single day. You just don't understand, you don't know. You don't know. The fact that you wake up in the morning for your Fajr prayers, that itself is thank. The shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How, how are you supposed to do the shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do you all know how easy it is? 
how easy it is to do the shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Riza alayhi salam, he says, oh, when the Muslim, oh, Muhammad, Muhammad. Imam Riza alayhi salam, he says that if you say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, five times in the morning, then you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the day. And if you say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, at night five times, you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the night. Look at how easy it is. And if someone was to pray all five namazes, how many times are they saying Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen? Do you see how easy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it for us? Yet we're so busy with our lives, we don't even stop for those five minutes, ten minutes, just to say or pray and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When in our wajib prayers, if we were to just do our wajib prayers, we're thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already. How many times? At the very least, ten times. At the very least. If we were just to do the wajib prayers, we'd meet that requirement. But we don't. And this is something everyone needs to think about. In the month of Ramadan, most of us, we woke up on Fajr. We woke up for Fajr on time. Out of the month of Ramadan, maybe we don't wake up. But that is something to carry over. That's something to carry over. Whatever one good deed, what do the one good deed that you were doing in the month of Ramadan, carry that over to the next month. One sin that you left for the month of Ramadan, carry that over. Carry that over. That's how you're going to build yourself. That's how the Imams taught everyone else to build themselves. One step at a time. And what happens with us, we want to do everything all at once, and when we want to try to do everything all at once, it falls apart. Because it's too much for, hand, for us to handle. We haven't gone to that stage where we can handle 20, 30 things at one time. So that's why the ulama of akhlaq, they say don't try to do 20, 30 things at one time. Just do one thing, that's it. The one thing. When it comes to the day of Eid, there's something you have to remember. That all of these days of Eid, what ziyarat is recommended to be read? Ziyarat Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Ziyarat Imam Hussain alayhi why is Ziyarat Imam Hussain al-Islam recommended to be read? Why not, for example, Ziyarat of Rasulullah? He is the one who brought the religion. Why not, for example, Ziyarat of Amir al-Mu'mineen? It was his sword that protected the religion. Why is it Ziyarat of Imam Hussain? Bringing the religion is one thing. Protecting it is another. But saving the religion is something completely different. And that's what Abu Abdullah Hussein Hussain did. He saved the religion. This is the reason until the end of time, Ziyarat of Imam Hussein will be recommended to recite. You look at what he did, you look at what his companions did. Those companions are what you and I are trying to get to. It's those companions, no one else. Not those personalities that you see on TV. Not even your parents, no. Those personalities, those 72 of Abu Abdullah Hussein alayhi salam. That should be our aim, that should be our goal. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we reach that goal. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of us here have that opportunity to get to that level of ma'rifat of the imam of our time so that when he does appear, we are not on the side of batil, but we're on the side of haq. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, qul huwa Allahu ahad, Allahu samad, lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufu wa nahad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad al-Wali Muhammad, Allahumma salli ala Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. 
الحمد اللہ اللہ لا يبلغ مدته القائلون ولا يسينا ما هو لا دون ولا يودي حقه المجتهدون الذي لا يدركه بهد الهمم ولا يناله غوث الفتن الذي ليس لصفته حد محدود ولا نات موجود ولا وقت محدود ولا اجل ممدود فترى الخلائق بقدرته ونشر الرياح برحمته ووتد بالسخر ميدان الارض ثم الصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين وحبيبنا وحبيب رب العالمين ابي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وامام المسلمين امير المؤمنين علي ابن ابي طالب ولا سيده النساء العالمين فاطمه الزهراء صلوات الله عليها وعلى سيد شباب اهل الجنه الحسن والحسين عليهم السلام اللهم صل على امة المسلمين علي ابن الحسين ومحمد ابن علي وجعفر ابن محمد وموسى ابن جعفر وعلي ابن موسى ومحمد ابن علي وعلي ابن محمد والحسن ابن علي اللهم صل على مولانا حجت ابن الحسن صاحب الاسر والزمان اللهم كن لوليك الحجت ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى اباه في هذه الصلاه وفي كل صلاه وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكن وارزق توا وتمتع فيها طويلا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد as you all aware inshallah please sit down um the second sermon will be short because uh, there's some elanat that need to be done but as you're all aware this day of eid like i said you can't just think about yourself this zakat al fitra it needs to move forward and some of the maraja they're strict when it comes to this zakat al fitra in the sense that it should reach the hands of the poor as soon as possible as soon as possible you don't wait 2 months you don't wait 3 months you don't wait 4 months if it can get into the hands of the poor right now it gets into the hands of the poor right now no if there's some sort of uzr if there's some sort of necessity where it can't get into the hands of the poor then that's something different but just keep something in mind if you pick up the tawzi of any marja they all say that that this zakat al fitra you first look within your own city you first look within your own city if you don't find anyone then you branch outwards a lot of people what do they do can we send it to pakistan can we send it to india can we send it to iran can we send it to iraq you can send it there that you can absolutely send it but you have to first see if within your community there's anyone that needs it if there's no one that needs it then you can branch out then you send it out then you send it out Why because the people that are living here in your community they're more deserving of it than someone that is living in another community why because these people are your neighbors they're your neighbors when it comes to the rights your neighbors come before everyone that is further away and when it comes to neighbors for example what does neighbors mean some narrations they say for example 40 homes around where you are 40 homes around where you are some narration they said no your area your area so please this zakat al fitra and this zakat al fitra just remember that it is zakat i know it it's not happening here because everyone is giving money but it doesn't need to be money it doesn't need to be money those things that zakat is wajib on you can give zakat al fitra with that also with that also those things that zakat is wajib on but because we live in the society money is easier and if you want to give the value amount of those things that zakat is wajib on you're able to you can give the value so please just keep that in mind make sure that you find someone in the community that's deserving if there's no one then you branch out then you branch out walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin inshallah after the elanat we'll have ziyarat imam hussein two rakat namaz of ziyarat and then everyone is free to go and before i leave i just want to thank everyone especially the management for allowing me to come in the month of ramadan allowing me to grace this place and giving my lectures inshallah hopefully 
you all benefited just the same way as I benefit. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Baba Zubran Salwaad Dede. Assalamu alaikum. Eid Mubarak Sabko. I'm here on behalf of my our president, our Shiba Farooq Hassan. Because she's our sister, she cannot come here, so I'm here for her. For her lying, for her long life, and whatever she's doing here in Jafriya, for her, we have a blunt salawat for her. For the first request, the Surah Fatiha for Brother Aziz Naqwi, as well as Sayyid Abul, Abul Fadil Abbas Naqwi. His family is sponsored for this namaz and many namaz before. Surah Fatiha. And we thank Sir Qibla Talib Muswi for his service for this Ramadan. Inshallah, we you going to see him again next year. And for his long life and for his, for his good services, Blantar Salwat. And one more thanks for Brother uh, Askari Jafri family and for him too, because he keep the Malana in his house for a couple of weeks and bring him on time for the Jafri for services for the Askari Jafri and him and his family for his long life, have a blunt salwat. Last two years, we bought this property next door for us. You can see it behind here. If we bought it, that's two years ago. And from, from, from all your family, for your help and everything. Now, inshallah, we have a couple more. We have two more property in behind this Jafriya in the parking lot. It's a little, little small, two, two, one and a half acre. Inshallah, we're going to let you know in the next future when we're going to try to buy this place and we need your help. And inshallah, always you guys are so helpful for the Jafriya. And because the Jafriya, we do all the such a good program here. If you don't help Jafriya, we cannot open the door here. We almost have $3,000 per month expense here. Doesn't matter if you do the program here or we don't do any program here. So please do whatever you can in, from your pocket. And inshallah, we're going to do such a program just for you, you and your family. Baudhubulan Salwad. From last couple of years, we have some security from the, the grant from the federal government. And we, inshallah, we got it in, in a few months or next month sometime, we, we, almost, we almost there to get that grant. And because the help of Brother Sarfraz Heather and Brother Farooq Hassan, we almost achieved this goal. Inshallah, in a few months, we're going to get the email from the Jafriya. So, inshallah, so uh, probably next month sometime, and we get the grant, so we're going to have the new camera system here. We have new security system here. So we we'll let you know for Brother Sarfraz Heather and Brother Farooq Hassan, ke liye blantar salwad. But for those who are new here, we see a lot of new faces here. We, we do services here. We do service here every Thursday. We have Dua Kumail here. We have Friday prayer. We have Sunday Jafriya Islamic school. If you have any Islamic, your little kids, you can come to the Jafriya and, and please contact the Jafriya Islamic school. And, and they have every Sunday school. They have timing. I don't know what time, but you can come and contact them. Baudhubilan Salwat. And one more time, thanks for everybody to, to, who participated in this Ramadan for the brings all the aftari and all the donation to the Jafriya. Un sab ke liye jo jo bhi yahan pe aftari laaye, un sab ke liye blantar salwat. And for your donation and for your support, we we have the PayPal services here. You can deposit the money in our bank account, and you can pay in a person here. And brother Tarat Abbas is here for take the, your donation. Baudhubilan Salwat. And now I'm requesting Brother Talat Abbas, I need some few minutes from you. I'm requesting Brother Talat Abbas to come to the podium for a couple minutes. And then after that, we, we have nice and hot breakfast for you. Brother Talat Abbas.
ओके इस्तेमाल से दुआएं सेहत फॉर ब्रदर हसन शाह और जो जो बीमार है हमारी कम्युनिटी में और जो जो अराउंड दर्ल्ड बीमार हैं उन सब के लिए एक बुलंदर सलवात एक हमारे भाई हैं मुनीर हसैन साहब पंजाब में एक मलसी दौड़ दो कोटा कोई इलाका है वहाँ पे मैं बारगा तमीर कर रही हैं और किसी साहब को कोई हेल्प करनी है तो यहाँ यहाँ मौजूद हैं आफ्टर नमाज आप उनकी हेल्प कर सकते हैं शुक्रिया असलकुम थैंक यू सलमान भाई आउज़बिल्लासमीम बसमीम रब शरली सदरी व यसरली अमरी व अहलदतमसानी जनफ़ो कौली सदकल्लाम तो जाफ्रिया मैनेजमेंट जो जो करंट मैनेजमेंट है वो 2022 से हम लोगों की नई मैनेजमेंट आई जो जिनके प्रेसिडेंट जाफ शिबा जाफ फरूख हैं और वाइस प्रेसिडेंट सलमान अब्बास तो उनकी रिक्वेस्ट पे जो 24 मंथ्स की फाइनेंशियल एक्टिविटी है वो मैं आपके सामने रख देता हूँ तो हमारे मुख्तलिफ़ अकाउंट्स हैं जिसमें मेंबरशिप है डोनेशन है जुम्मा फंड है जाफरिया स्कूल है और नाउ एडिंग रेंट रिसीव जो हम करते हैं उनसे टोटल जो हमने रिसीव किया है ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ्स में फोर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी डॉलर वैसे तो लार ऑफ कैटेगरीज़ हैं जिसमें हम स्पेंड करते हैं ये सारे एक्सपेंस हैं हमारे मगर मैंने इनको ओनली फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन कैटेगरीज़ में डिवाइड किया आप लोगों के लिए कम वक्त में चार पाँच मिनट में आपको बता देता हूँ जो ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ्स में हमने जो यूटिलिटीज़ पे खर्च हुआ हुआ है हमारा वो फोटी वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी नाइन डॉलर है जो हमारा गारबेज रिफ्यूज़ल होता है वो नाइन थाउजेंड है वाटर सीवरेज बिल जो है सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड है ये ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ्स की सारी एक्टिविटीज़ हैं और जो हमारा नेटवर्किंग है वो थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एट डॉलर है इसी तरह हमारी सिक्योरिटी जो है वो सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड डॉलर है दोनों बिल्डिंग्स की जो इंश्योरेंस है वो ट्वेंटी सेवन दोनों बिल्डिंग की जो इंश्योरेंस है वो टेन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी थ्री है जो हमारे जो टोटल इवेंट्स होते हैं तकरीबन 72 टू 75 इवेंट्स होते हैं साल में एक साल के अंदर तो जो हमारे 24 मंथ्स में जो एक्टिविटीज़ हुई हैं उन पे जो तबरुक का जो ख़र्चा आया है ग्रॉसरी या तबरुक का वो 28,262 डॉलर है तो आप लोगों को पता है जो भी आप यहाँ आते हैं तबरुक होता है वो सारा फ्रेश बनाया जाता है और बिल्कुल फ्रेश होता है इसमें 90 परसेंट जो है वो हमारी शिबा भाभी और ख़वान जो है मिलके बनाती हैं आप लोगों के लिए एक सलावत उनके लिए ज़रूर पढ़ें इन 24 फोर मंथ्स में हमने अपने जो आलिम जो यहाँ पर आते हैं और मौलाना जो आते हैं उनका जो टोटल ख़र्चा हमारे पास आया है वो सिक्सटी डॉलर है अगर आप इनको देखें सेवेंटी टू इवेंट्स के हिसाब से तो ये कुछ भी नहीं है बियर मिनिमम है जो हमारी टोटल मेंटेनेंस है क्योंकि बिल्डिंग पुरानी होती जा रही है काफ़ी खर्चे होते हैं मेंटेनेंस के उसमें ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी थ्री डॉलर हमने खर्च किए ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ में इसी तरह स्कूल स्कूल हमारा संडे स्कूल जो चल रहा है उनकी सप्लाईज जो है टोटल ट्वेंटी मंथ में थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन डॉलर है जो नेक्स्ट डोर हमने बिल्डिंग ली है उसकी मॉर्गेज हमने सो फार ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डॉलर ऑलरेडी पेड कर दी है और जब और जब हमने ये बिल्डिंग ली उसको बिल्डिंग की जो हमने डाउन पेमेंट दी थी क्लोजिंग कार्ड जिसको सेटलमेंट कॉस्ट कहते हैं आप लोग टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड थी तो इस तरह हमने टोटल ट्वेंटी फोर मंथ में जो अर्न किया था वो थे फोर फोर्टी फोर था फोर 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 हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी डॉलर और जो हमारे एक्सपेंस हुए टोटल 
वो हुए हैं फोर डॉलर तो आप लोग वाकई एक सलावाद के मुस्तक हैं तो ये सब बताने का मकसद ये था कि जो भी आप लोगों की डोनेशन आते हैं जो आपकी मेम्बरशिप्स आती हैं वो सारे एक एक पैनी का सलमान और शिवा जाफरी जो है वो हिसाब किताब रखते हैं और जिसको भी इसके मुतालिक मज़ीद मालूम करना हो मैं ये बोर्ड पे भी लगा दूँगा और मुझसे आके ऑफिस में भी पूछ सकते हैं आप लोग किसी भी चीज़ के मुतालिक और इनमें किसी भी चीज़ में आप हमारा हेल्प आउट करना चाहते हैं कोई चीज़ अपने ज़िम्मे लेना चाहते हैं वो भी हमें बताएं दूसरा लास्ट टाइम भी जो मैंने मुहरमों में रिक्वेस्ट की थी आ, हमारा एयर कंडीशनिंग सिस्टम बहुत पुराना हो गया है तो वो हमने उसको रिपेयर करा करा के थक गए हैं अगर कोई मोमिन या कोई भी हमारे साथ उसका पार्टिसिपेट करना चाहे प्लीज़ हम लोगों को बताएं क्योंकि वो बहुत ज़रूरी है मुहर्रम से पहले हमें उसको कराना है इसके अलावा सलमान भाई ने आपसे जो रिक्वेस्ट की हैं वो बहुत ज़रूरी हैं और जो नेक्स्ट बिल्डिंग है वो हमने पेमेंट तो उसकी 207,000 कर दी है मगर स्टिल 100 194,000 डॉलर उसका पे ऑफ अमाउंट है अगर कोई मोमिन और सारे मोमिन मिल करना चाहते हैं तो प्लीज़ उसमें भी हमारी हेल्प आउट करें आ, बाकी अगर किसी को कोई क्वेश्चन हो तो मैं ऑफिस में होता हूँ आप उससे पूछ सकते हैं रबना तकबल मन्ना इन्ना का तस्मील अली थैंक यू तलाक भाई तलक भाई माशा इनके सामने कहने वाली बात नहीं है माशा इस दुनिया सो वंडरफुल जाब इनके बाद से आप हमारे एक 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 ही चीज़ का इसने हिसाब रखा हुआ है जो चीज़ हमें पता भी नहीं होती वही बताते हैं कि देखो ये पैसा आया था और ये ये रखा हुआ है तलत भाई की सेहत सलामती के लिए बनता है सलवाद भेजें रिक्वेस्ट पर ज्यादा नाम सैन सलाम उसके बाद मुनकर वसबरतरी फ़ाशफ़ालबिका बला असलकुम अयोदीकून असलकुम अयो शहदा उबरून अशदुअनकुम जाहत तुम फ़ी सबील व सबर तुम फ़ी जन बिल्ल व न सह तुम लसूली हत तकुमीम अशदुअनकुम आहिया उन इंद्रबिकुम तुरजून 
فجزاکم اللہ عن الاسلام وحلہ افضل جزاء المحسنین و جمع بیننا و بینکم فی محل النعیم ذات ابو الفضل عباس السلام علیکہ ابن امیر المومنین السلام علیکہ ایوہ العبد الصالح المتعول اللہ ولرسولہ اشہد انکا قد جاہت و نسحت و سبرت و حتی اتاک الیقین لانا اللہ الظالمین لکم من الاولین والاخرین والحقهم بدرك الجهيم السلام عليك يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا أمير المؤمنين السلام عليك يا صديقة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة النساء العالمين السلام عليك يا مولانا يا حسن المجتبى السلام عليك يا مولانا يا غريب الغرباء يا عبا عبد الله السلام عليك يا علي بن الحسين السلام عليك يا مولانا يا محمد بن علي السلام علیکہ مولانا یا جعفر ابن محمد السلام علیکہ مولانا یا موسیٰ ابن جعفر السلام علیکہ مولانا یا علی ابن موسیٰ السلام علیکہ مولانا یا محمد ابن علی السلام علیکہ مولانا یا علی ابن محمد السلام علیکہ مولانا یا حسن ابن علی السلام علیکہ مولانا یا صاحب الاسر زمان علمان 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 من الفتن زمان عجل اللہ تعالی فرجک و زفورک و جالنا من انسادک و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ سورکت نماز تورکہ صلات زیادہ امام حسین 